All right, let's take a look at the top 10 3ds Max plugins in 2019. Max probably has the most comprehensive set of plugins available for any 3D applications and today we attempt the impossible. So here are our top 10 picks for the best 3ds Max plugins in 2019. Hey folks, welcome to Mograph Plus. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Let's get started. To keep the video short and sweet, for each plugin we mention, we just give you a basic description of that plugin by its developer, its price, and then we move on to the next one. Number 10, Rayfire. Rayfire is a destruction simulator tool that gives you the ability to fragment, destroy, demolish, wreck, break down, blow up, burst, detonate, explode, and do other similar things. Rayfire is simple to use, user-friendly and intuitive, supports both bullet and NVIDIA physics. Rayfire costs around $400. Number 9. Corona Corona Render is a modern, high-performance, unbiased or biased photorealistic render available for 3ds Max and Cinema 4D and also as a standalone application. Corona is easy to use and it delivers predictable, reliable and realistic results with no compromises in quality. Corona is fully CPU based and it costs $28 a month. If you want to learn Corona for 3ds Max, make sure to check out our comprehensive introduction to Corona for 3ds Max course at our website mographplus.com or on our Gumroad page. I put the links down below in the description. Number 8. Rail Clone Rail Clone is a parametric modeling plugin for 3ds Max. It has a unique array-based approach to asset creation. It is fast, efficient, and easy to learn. It creates objects by distributing and manipulating geometry created using standard modeling techniques. If you can model it in Max, you can create procedural objects with Rail Clone. Rail Clone has a node-based editor to create rules that combine, sequence, transform, deform, slice, bevel, and distribute instant geometries or proxies. And you can create variation by randomizing objects, UV mapping, and material IDs. Rail Clone costs around 250 bucks. Number 7. Redshift Redshift is a powerful GPU accelerated renderer, built to meet the specific demands of contemporary high-end production rendering. Tailored to support creative individuals and studios of every size, Redshift offers a suite of powerful features. Uh, Redshift is biased, high-performance production quality renderer that gives incredibly fast, noise-free renders. With Redshift, you can get the rendering performance of a small render farm from your existing workstation, saving you time and money and unleashing your creative potential. Redshift is priced around $500. Number 6. Phoenix FD Phoenix FD is an all-in-one solution for fluid dynamics. It can easily simulate fires, smoke, liquids, ocean waves, splashes, spray, mist, and more. You can create all types of physically based fluid effects with fast, flexible controls for rendering, retiming, and refining simulations. It's user-friendly, interactive, and very well integrated into 3ds Max and compatible with top industry tools such as Alembic, Krakatoa, Stokamex, and OpenVDB. Phoenix FD is priced at around 400 bucks for an annual subscription. Number 5. Arnold Arnold is an advanced ray tracing renderer built for the demands of future length animation and visual effects. Originally co-developed with Sony Pictures, Imageworks, and now their main renderer, Arnold is used over 300 studios worldwide including ILM and MPC. Arnold is a powerful CPU and GPU renderer and as you know is the built-in renderer for both 3ds Max and Maya. Uh, Arnold is fast, memory efficient, scalable, and physically based ray tracer. Uh, Arnold is really good and by far my preferred renderer and it comes natively with 3ds Max so you don't need to pay anything extra if you don't use network rendering. In that case additional licenses of Arnold Core Render will be required which is around $65 per month. If you want to learn Arnold for 3ds Max you can check out our comprehensive introduction to Arnold for 3ds Max course at our website mographplus.com or on our comment page. I put the links down below in the description. Number 4. Ornatrix Ornatrix is a plugin for 3ds Max that allows for the creation of realistic hair, fur, and feather. It has a tight 3ds Max integration with intuitive modeling tools to quickly brush, cut, comb, freeze, curl, clump, and braid hair procedurally. You can quickly define flow of fur on a surface with arrows. It allows you to style hair by dragging control points and use mesh strips to generate hair. 
or Natrix has multiple dynamics options for all types of simulation and much more. Number 3. Thinking Particles Thinking Particles is the closest thing you can get to side effects Houdini when using 3ds Max. Uh, it is a fully procedural and physically accurate real-world destruction and special effects simulation toolset. You can do a lot with Thinking Particles, all sorts of dynamic simulations, fluid and smoke solver, dynamic splines, all sorts of geometry modifications. Uh, it's basically a complete visual effects solution for 3ds Max users and it costs $55 a month. Number 2. Forest Pack Forest Pack is a scattering plugin for 3ds Max. It provides a complete solution for creating vast areas of objects from trees and plants to buildings, crowds, aggregates, uh, ground cover rocks and more. If you can model it, Forest Pack can scatter it. Countless studios rely on Forest Pack's production tested algorithms and native shaders to render scenes with virtually unlimited number of objects and polygons all without putting a string on computer resources. You can simulate natural distribution patterns and get the most out of your assets using advanced mapping and randomization tools, or fine-tune your scatter with granular control over every aspect of the plugin. Forest Pack costs around 250 bucks. And number one, V-Ray. Our topic for the list had to be V-Ray. The history speaks for itself. Vira is a CPU and GPU renderer. With Vira, you can render professional quality photorealistic images and animations with adaptive ray tracing technology. Vira is probably one of the most widely used renderers among 3ds Max users. It's been around for more than two decades and it is being developed constantly with a very fast pace. What makes Vira such a great renderer is the sheer amount of plugins, assets, and scripts that are compatible and integrated with Vira. For example, most of the professional 3D models are already made with V-Ray material so you can simply put the model in your scene and start rendering immediately. V-Ray is priced at around 470 bucks for an annual subscription. If you are looking to learn V-Ray for 3ds Max, we actually have a massive 20 hour long course. Just check out our ultimate introduction to V-Ray for 3ds Max course at our website mografplus.com or on our Gumroad page. I put the links down below in the description as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium rendering and motion graphic courses for Cinema 4D, 3DS Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, V-Ray, Maxwell, and so on. What should we talk about in the next video? Tell us down below in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos from Mograph Plus. See you next time.